A few years ago, life changed and left me in a place where I just needed to be busy, and I knew just the thing to keep me occupied. I'd always wanted to build my first VW engine out of scrap parts just to see if it would run, and was curious to learn as many rebuild procedures as possible. An engine built of worthless parts is an unconventional approach, but seemed like a good option in the face of the long learning curve that laid before me. So the parts stash was sorted through to find parts that were all the same level of barely usable. I performed each action as if this engine would go a million miles. The heads were given new guides, CC'd and polished, the block was decked, compression ratio was calculated, the cam was dialed in, every bit of measurable wear was documented, and all opportunities to make specialty tools were taken. And some little birdies moved in and did some building of their own. Time didn't matter, so every rabbit hole was fair game. I got to try most of Bob Hoover's oiling system tricks, including in large passages and that thing where you groove the rocker arm shafts to finish getting more oil into the heads. I learned to use a tap more precisely, and I did my first bit of milling on this old mill drill. And the birdies settled in for the long haul. I didn't think much about what it would be like to hear the engine run. I was just going to be happy if it would even start. Well, it did, and we all saw the video of me driving around the yard, so we know it's still ticking. That's all bonus because it was never about the result. This one was about the journey and chasing the therapeutic effects of building something you care about. It was kind of neat having these two fly by me as we each kept busy with our projects. But it wasn't long until a new phase of life began and it was time to move on. As they say, when one journey ends, another begins. At some point, time matters again. Life goes on and we get busy with the task of living. That could mean a lot of things, but today, it means pulling the engine, pushing the body aside and focusing on the chassis. This is gonna be a good run. Day three of the Beetle Project. <laughs> Still fun. Maybe hard to tell, but I went to the uh, optometrist today for my checkup and they dilated my eyes, so my eyeballs are bigger than my head right now. <laughs> but we'll, we'll deal with it and um, do something kind of cool. Today, the objective is to remove the engine from the beetle and that will allow us to totally separate the body from the pan. So I'm going to put the body on one side of the garage and the pan on the other side of the garage by the end of tonight. That's the goal. There have been people that have removed and replaced a VW engine in a matter of minutes. And that is not what's happening tonight. The way I like to do this is with an ATV jack. I may need to get some wood blocks in there uh, for it to really work right, but it's nice and steady. Then I'll get it onto that engine stand. That head on the engine stand won't work with the VW. But a long time ago, when I was just learning how to weld, uh, I made this contraption. I know I've, I've run an engine on it before, and it's just an adapter for a standard head, and, and I hope it works. <laughs> I uh, need, to, need to remove the engine then. I'm going to get the, uh, the bolts loosened up and then put the jack in place and, and lower it down. This is the accelerator cable here. I think this is what the body was resting on. It was pivoting at that one point yesterday when it had the front raised. I think it was just sitting on here. which Looks like it weathered that storm okay. So I'm going to loosen this guy, this barrel nut, I think is what that's called, and pass the cable through. I think that's the last attachment that the engine has left on the vehicle other than being bolted to it. So I'll do that first and then uh, get this thing off of there. That looks like that's going to be fun to put back in. I'm going to start with the two bolts on the bottom and then I'll do the uh, two bolts on the top last. So the engine will just kind of be hanging from those two top bolts. Now before I loosen those, I'll get the jack under here.
it's kind of funny. It, it's a funny shape. So if you find one of these, hang on to it. Because this is its usefulness. It hangs out in this spot up against the starter and keeps itself from turning. Okay, so got the engine out, got the body separated, uh, got the, or the garage organized and <laughs> ready to go. So this behind me is the project. Getting this chassis fully restored. Uh, we'll take it all apart, sandblast it, paint it, and reassemble it with new boots and seals and all that good stuff and cables and make this like new with the exception of some key parts <laughs> of course right uh, I'm gonna keep the transaxle I really don't know what kind of condition it's in I know that it works it goes through the gears uh, but it could blow up 100 miles down the road for all I know but I'm uh, gonna go ahead and see what I can get out of it it's it's the chassis itself that I'm interested in here so the, the pan and the front beam and the rear suspension components that's all the stuff that I want to have brand new and the brakes as well uh, fuel lines cables control cables for the heaters I'm going to do all that stuff so that's that's enough that <laughs> that's a pretty good project over here is the body and that's gonna have to wait for the time being this is the all-encompassing focus you know, I'm ready to tear into it this is something that I've been anticipating a long 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 time and so I finally just set the time aside to do it so that's uh, that's going to be in the next installment. So I'm going to say this is the end of day three, and we'll pick up here and really tear into the new stuff uh, starting tomorrow. There we go. Thanks for coming back to see the third installment of the Dweezil Restoration Blog. If you're just joining us, make sure you get caught up by clicking the playlist on the screen now. And as always, thanks for subscribing, commenting, liking, and coming back for more Haptic Garage next time. Bye now.